What is happening, Fox fans? Hey, listen, I'm glad to have you. Welcome to the house of Dula. Today, we're gonna to be installing this factory style turbo scoop from a 79 Mustang on my 79 Coupe project car right behind us here that is getting prepared for an EcoBoost swap, paint job, coilovers, and a whole bunch of other goodies. So stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you guys kind of some updates on the project back here and also kind of show you what I've picked up for it and um, how along, far along this project is really starting to move. So it's really exciting. But for right now, I need to get this girl fitted onto the hood so that we can start getting kind of prepped and painted and ready. All right, so first off, I wanna say a real big thank you to the guy who sent me this scoop. He sent it to me for the cost of shipping, which is awesome. Yeah. So again, this is a 79 to 82 Mustang hood scoop, okay? And this is what would have come on the turbo cars. Now my car obviously doesn't have a hood scoop, but I thought it'd be fitting to put a turbo scoop on the car since it's going to be receiving a 2.3 liter EcoBoost turbo. So right off the bat, there's some issues with it we're gonna have to address, you know. Um, let's start with this. So this was a little broken piece. This corner had broken off of it. Um, I knew that when he sent it to me. He said it was broken, but luckily he found it. And you can see the seam in there. You can see where the crack is right in there. Hopefully you can see that. So I've got it in place. Luckily it's a clean break and you can see some goop on it. That's just from the tape I had on it holding it. So I basically had it, the piece held on the backside while it was drying because I went ahead and put in some Gorilla Glue super glue just to kind of hold it in place while we put some epoxy on it. So I've got some plastic welder. We're gonna score the inside real good. We're gonna put some plastic welder in here to kind of just reinforce that break, okay? So we're gonna use this, no big deal. Um, second thing is it's missing the front little plaque on the front of it. So this is what came on it, and you can see that somebody had glued it on. From the factory, there would, there would have been pins in here, and this is just a kind of a decorative plaque, right? It goes on the front just to kind of make it look nice. I like the look of it, personally. I don't really, I didn't have any um, really ambitions of cutting this out and making it functional, uh, but just really keeping the car clean looking kind of like it would have from the factory. So clearly this is broken. Now, luckily, MPD sells these, so they sent me one here. Let's try this one hand here. Okay, so you can see that's, that's a little bit off right there. No big deal, but you have that one in the groove. No big deal. I reached out to them. They are sending me one. No questions asked. Send me a replacement because I did pay for this. They're going to send me another one. Hopefully, it comes in and it fits. If not, then most likely something is unique with the scoop or different on it. Now, this is a Ford factory scoop. There's the part number right there, D9ZB. Okay. So, this is a 79 scoop. I know in the 82 scoops, um, they actually had an 82 part number. So, they would have been, you know, E2. So anyways, so this is it right now. We're gonna go ahead and fit it. And one of the first things I did was I went ahead and uh, double nutted the studs here and we went ahead and just backed them out to go ahead and remove it from the scoop so I could try to take some measurements and get it nice and perfect how it would have been in the factory. Well, let's go look at the car. Let's go look at the hood now. This is my 79 coupe four cylinder. Now, if it's the first time joining the channel, first off, welcome, glad to have you, but definitely stay tuned some more videos because this car's gonna get transformed significantly. We're gonna be painting it avalanche gray and it's gonna be receiving an EcoBoost 2 3 liter. So this is gonna be a really fun driver that my wife is just gonna super enjoy, but let's take a look at the hood. Okay, now the hood has some spots on it that looks like it's probably in the factory location. Since this is a factory 79 hood and that's a 79 factory scoop, we should have provisions on the hood itself for it to fit the scoop. Now I can see that we've got a section here which is most likely for the top stud. And you've got an offset kind of indention here and I'll show you why that's important right there. You can actually see the center line of the scoop is the stud right here. And if you go straight back, you'll notice this is offset. And guess what? It's on the same side. Now of course it's upside down, but as the scoop is installed, the offset is on the left side, off center to the center of the hood or the center of that stud, which matches this as well. So this is on the left side. So what's going to be really neat, hopefully, is we should be able to, you know, dead center this and get it right in the center of, of where these two mounts. And that will tell us where uh, the outer corners will go. Here's another thing. I don't want to drill that center stud hole because if I can't find a plaque, to fit this, and I ended up cutting this out to make the scoop hollow, 
Um, then, you know, I'm going to have a hole in my hood, which is not cool. Now, I know we're doing body work on it. We're going to be doing all the paint and stuff. So I know that can be fixed. But we're still not going to need to drill holes in the hood if I'm not going to be using it, right? All right, before we go too far, I can't forget, we got to address this and go ahead and get the epoxy on it now. I figure we'll do that. And then we'll kind of decide what we're going to do up front and decide on the measurements. So what I'm going to do is take my drill tool with a cutoff wheel. And I'm going to score some lines. And I don't obviously don't want to go too deep. And I don't want to heat it up to the point where it breaks off again. But what I want to do is just score some lines in the cut where the split is. So you can see the split is right from here all the way across here. This whole piece came off. And like I said, it came off clean. And there's Gorilla Glue holding the piece on right now. But I want to reinforce it with some of this epoxy. So thanks to Instagram user Brett the Proud Viking. Thank you, dude, for giving me this idea. I went ahead and ordered this on Amazon. This is DevCon Plastic Welder with 3500 PSI strength, and this is a, an epoxy and a cream color, and it bonds to hard plastic, PVC, sterling, acrylic, ceramic, concrete, fiberglass, metal vinyl, and wood. Okay, so what I've got here is kind of a crosshatch pattern that I've ground over the crack. So we're gonna fill this up with epoxy and hopefully that cross hatch will really give it the strength we need. Okay, directions have been read. That's the paddle. Okay, so we've broken this stuff off. Apparently this is pretty bad. Just probably put a respirator on, but we're gonna go ahead and mix this up here. Okay, that should be plenty. Now we're gonna pull back on the plunger a little bit. That'll help Fix there. Oh god, this is strong. Holy crap. Bring right back. <laughs> Woo, man. Alright, let's, let's get this on. That is some strong stuff, man. Alright. So we're gonna mix this thoroughly. Here we go. Now we will apply gently to area here. Oh man. Yeah. Alright. That's some strong stuff, man. Okay, I've taken some measurements here. So I was able to find on forums and also looking at pictures of factory cars that had the turbo scoop on it that the corner here to the edge of the hood is exactly one inch out. So that gave me somewhere to work with on the placement. So I'm going out an inch from the edge here to the edge of the hood. Now I'll mark that on both sides and also according to the forum, uh, the guy who was doing some same measurements on his scoop was it was a quarter inch in from the edge here out to the edge of the line of your hood. So right when your curve starts here, from this corner to that is about a quarter of an inch. Now I've gone on both sides, but to verify that I had both sides straight, what I found was using the ruler sliding up the scoop, a 12 inch ruler here, so one foot goes right up to uh, seven and three quarters from the point here to here. So what I've done is I've taken that, just kind of helps me make sure that the front of the scoop is centered from the edge of the hood, and put it right there like that. So you can see that is exactly in the same spot. So what I did was I, I found out this first, it's okay, what is an exact foot from the edge of the hood to the scoop? It stopped right here. That was seven and three quarters, went on the other side, measured seven and three quarters from here to there. So from this point to here, that's seven and three quarters. And at seven and three quarters, if I put the ruler up against that line, I'm on the same edge here. Now I don't want to push on it because it's, because <laughs> I don't want to move the scoop. So right now as it sits, the placement of the scoop is where it should be from the factory according to measurements. We won't know until we start making holes. Also, most importantly, at least in my opinion, is make sure it looks symmetrical. Okay, we wanna make sure it looks good. Measure the center line of the car. The center line of the hood is gonna go right through the stripe of the Mustang here, and the center line of the scoop should be going right through this as well. So, I mean, visually, looking at the points, we wanna make sure it looks good. The hood 
placement in place here. We got a nice clean line on the edge. I've drawn out the back line of it and we've also marked the edge corner. So now I can lift it off knowing we know exactly where the hood is supposed to go. We can also help from here identify locations of the holes based on this line here, which is the back of the scoop. And we can also try to make sure that 100% from here to there on all edges are centered before we start drilling any holes. 10, 13, 16 from there. Now we're gonna come up from the dead center of the hole here. In fact, use this as a bit more precise. Make sure we got 10, 13 sixteenths. Hey. Uh, mounting hood scoops. Measure, measure, measure. Okay. All right, man, I got the measurements from this hole to that corner, this hole to this corner. Marked it on the tape. What do you think about the scoop, Kevin? Turbo scoop, man. That's the uh, scoop that came on a 79 Mustang with a turbo. Huh? Yeah? yeah. It's pretty neat, huh? All right, I'll set this up here. It had a broken corner on that, just epoxied it. So this is the spot where I came up with right here. And this, I'm hoping, is right where the factory indention is because everything I've read, uh, anyways, everything I've read, the edge of the scoop comes out an inch from the edge of the hood. And the factory, actually, hang on a second. Let me get my camera over right here. That dimple it should be right there. Yeah, let it down real quick. It should be right where that dimple is. Say hi, Kevin. All right, guys, if we did everything right, yep, so. Everything that I just measured should have gone right here. All right, let's see here. I was going to do a little tap method here. Yeah. Man, I'm right over that mark. <laughs> All right. From the tap method. Least tapping on it. I've got my measurements and it should be right over here. So. What we can do is drill a pilot hole and just uh, go from there. I need to get the other holes figured out though too. Okay, first things first, we're gonna drill a tiny pilot hole because if I have to fill this back in, pilot hole is gonna be easier than a 3 8 hole. So here we go. If our measurements are right, it should be right in the center. Okay, yeah, cool. So there's the hole we drilled, and there it is right where I suspected and wanted it to be. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right, so I'm just doing the same thing on each side. So it's easy to drill the first hole. It's hard to drill all the other holes to match the first hole. That's the key, right? Because once you got the first hole drilled, you know, you may be able to make a template. But anyways, I've gotten two of them drilled now. I've got to the one on the edge there and the one in the center. I got two studs in it. And this one ended up being, let's see here, two and three eighths out from here to the to the edge of the scoop and four and 1032 out from the edge in. So the measurements from here to here was 1032 and from here, the outside was two and three eighths of an inch. And lucky for me, that ended up working okay. So what I wanna really do now, before we go any further, is to sit the scoop in place, make sure all my measurements are where exactly they were when we began in the placement. So I'll make sure we're a foot from there to here. And a foot from here to there. And it looks good. So worst case scenario for fine adjustments, you can wall the holes out a little bit. We can do that too. We can just make them a little bit larger. 
than a quarter of an inch, of course, and that'll give us a little bit of wiggle room, you know, for any kind of compensation, because this is not precise measurements. This is the best we can do with the tools we got. All right, so I've gotten the three holes cut in the back. Everything's fitting really good. I'm really happy with it so far. Um, I wanted to show you the epoxy here. Look how that it dried. You can barely see it, and it is rock hard, guys. I don't know, that's not even really easy to see if there. <laughs> yeah, look at that. So this stuff is pretty amazing. Now, we're not done with the epoxy. Uh, because I do have some missing studs, I got these replacement studs from MBD, and uh, they don't seem to fit just exact, see? So they're a little loose. They're not screwing in, in fact, you know, that boss, they're all a little bit, little bit loose. So no big deal. Um, we're gonna epoxy these in to the hole, so I need one for back here. Okay, we're gonna get our epoxy again. Now the ones I got here from MPD, um, they are a little bit longer. Some of these are longer. These back ones back here, have quite a bit of a shorter stud because the boss is only that long uh, within the scoop itself. So this one is stripped out. So we're gonna have to epoxy this factory one anyways. I wanna use the factory bolts just cause they're gonna be a little bit better fitment. Um, but these aftermarket ones are also loose though. See, so they don't fit in here. So we don't need the center one. We're not gonna use the center one because I may end up cutting this out and leaving it empty. Um, so we're gonna have to definitely epoxy these outer ones here and epoxy this one here. Now these are in pretty good, so I'm not gonna do anything with them. I'm just gonna leave them alone and just kind of scrape off some of the sealant. Ford did put a little bit of a, a putty around here to keep the water out of the holes whenever, you know, moisture we get inside of it as well. Dang, that's so strong. Mixing it well, mixing it well. All right. Okay. Okay, get a nice glob here. Now, we're gonna go let this dry. We'll come back out, finish up these two holes, and uh, yeah, we'll be done with it. Okay, that one is just a hair off. Okay, final test fit. Let's start cleaning this up. Before we go ahead and put this on the car, I went ahead and tried um, MPD's insert again. And what I ended up doing was snapping off the outer two plastic pins because these were not fitting. The center ones actually fit and centered the piece. The outer ones were way off. So I went ahead and just snapped them. And what that let me do is kind of slide it in the center like this. Now it puts it pretty close on that side and not too bad on this side. It's not perfect. You can see it doesn't have a, doesn't fit perfectly. It doesn't go right into, this lip should go right into that, that edge and same on this side. That should fit right into there and it doesn't. But for now, until they send me another one, it'll at least hide the ugly white part in the center until I figure out if I want to go ahead and cut this out or leave it as is. So I think what I'm gonna do is just throw a little bit of double sided tape on it just temporarily, just to get an idea of the look and then fall off and then we'll bolt it on and take a look at it. All right, man, here we go, final. Final reveal. Let's see how this is going to look here. All right. All right, man. <laughs> well, there it is. Obviously, it's a bold statement here because it's white and it sticks out like a sore thumb. And it's dirty, the car is filthy, but hey. That's just one step to our EcoBoost project car here. But the scoop looks good on it and matches the body style. I really like the looks of this scoop on this car. And being that it is a turbo scoop, it's gonna be really neat when the EcoBoost motor is put into the car. 
and everything's painted one nice color. So, yeah. Looks nice and center. I'm really happy with the way that turned out. Really happy that it got put in the same exact spot that the factory would have had it. And um, yeah, and that's a viewer's uh, scoop there. So I'm stoked. Now let's talk a little bit about the project itself and kind of what's to come. Whew, all right, man, that is it. That is a wrap. So I know what you're thinking. Mike, why would you put that white hood scoop on this car with a decent paint job or not? It's not gonna stay gray. We're gonna paint it. I'm super stoked because it's gonna be painted avalanche gray. And if you know what avalanche gray is, it's a color that Ford came out with on the Raptors and the GT350s. And it's a, just a really neat, unique color, a little bit off white. So it's gonna be really cool. We're gonna paint the whole car that, so it doesn't really matter anyways. So if you're new to the channel or you're just now following me, this car back here, the 79, is going to get EcoBoost swap. So I picked up an EcoBoost. It's sitting on the corner. You can see back here, we've got the 88 Ford. But that's not the best news. Here's the good news, okay? AJE suspension. So AJE decided to sponsor the project car. Wait a minute. Yes. Yes, they decided to sponsor the project car. I'm so excited. I'm just uh, kind of really out of words on how to get that. I don't know. I don't even know what to say. They reached out to me. And the company has decided to give me the K member, tubular A arms, coilovers, caster camera plates, the whole nine yards. So it's getting a whole front end suspension for it, and I'm completely grateful. You don't know who AJE is. AJE makes a rad modular K member that allows you to switch out the mount for different types of motors without switching the whole K member out. But most importantly, they make a mount for the 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine that's going in to the 79 here. So that is super, super cool. Can't thank them enough. It's a really the first person who's ever reached up and uh, you know decided to sponsor the car and help out with it. So I'm just greatly, greatly appreciative of that. Now, of course, we're not gonna let you know all that nice front suspension be without some nice brakes. So We've picked up these. Now, I know what you're saying. Mike, this is Cadillac, man. No, no, no. These are not Cadillacs. They're Brembos, okay? And they're dirt cheap. Unless you've been living under the Fox Body Rock or something like that, you're just kind of not in the loop. Um, let me let you in on a little secret. These right here can be adapted to fit a SN95 Fox spindle, okay? These are Brembos. These are four-piston Brembos. Actual four-piston. You know, you got brake lines on both sides, okay? So, real four-piston Brembos. They're dirt cheap, 375 bucks. I think I paid for e on eBay. All four are both calipers, pads, and hardware. Okay, cheap, big break, Brim Brimbo. So it allows you to run a 13 inch uh, Cobra rotor, which is like what we're running here on the blue turbo car. So we're going to be doing that. I'm going to do a video on that. It's going to be a completely separate video on just specifically installing the Cadillac ATS and CTS brakes on a Fox. So that's cool. Along with this, we've got the SNS engineering kit. So this company who is out on Facebook actually selling these parts or selling these adapters to put this on uh, the spindles. This goes with the brake kit, so we'll kind of go over that later. But hey, man, we got lots of stuff going. I've got to order the control pack. Um, we've got a TKO here on the corner that I've got to get working on. The TKO 600 is going in the blue turbo car. The T5 is going out of this car and going into the 79 coupe because we have an Essinger adapter on the back of the EcoBoost motor that's going to allow to bolt on a small block Ford um, transmission. So that's, you know, your T5, whatever. Your T5 AODs, uh, C4, C6, small block Ford, bell house. So, that is going to happen. We're going to keep it super simple for now. If I ever want to change it out to an automatic, like a 6R80 um, or a 10 speed or a stronger transmission, we could do that. Right now, I want to keep it simple, focus on the engine swap, body work, making the thing look rad. So, we're going to put some really awesome wheels on it. We're going to get the stance real low, and the car is just going to be phenomenal, in my opinion. But we got lots of work to do. It's not going to happen overnight. You're going to be here with me the whole time. We're going to go over as much detail on the whole build as we can. So, stick with me. It's gonna happen, I promise. That's it for now. Follow me on Instagram. We will see you guys next time. Take care.